Good morning, you guys. Uh, greetings from Seoul, South Korea. This is day two. I'm now on my way to go to the subway station and then uh, ride the train over uh, to a small town from where you can actually start to take a tour to the demilitarized zone. That's a buffer zone between South and North Korea. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to check out that place. Um, there's supposed to be an observatory from where on the top you can see uh, right across the border. Uh, you can see North Korean soldiers standing right there. So this is going to be funny. Um, there is also another tour that uh, brings you to the infiltration tunnel. It's uh, the third infiltration tunnel. Long story behind that, I'm not going to tell you anything about that, so look it up. Uh, yeah, so this is probably going to take up half of the day, and the other half probably going to enjoy something in Seoul again. Uh, I did manage to get up early today at 8 o'clock, but by the time I dress up and prepare myself, it's 9.30 now. But still, it's better than yesterday. The walk from the hotel to the subway station is around 15 minutes, I guess. It's it's okay, it's not that bad. You really don't need to take a take a cab for that. However, yesterday I was in for a really bad surprise. Okay, so I didn't check the time, and by the time I wanted to return to the hotel, the subway wasn't running anymore. So I was just stuck in the middle of the city. Okay, so I was forced to take a cab. The funny thing is, it's hard to explain the guy where you actually want to go if he doesn't speak any English or if you don't know any Korean. But luckily, I had my uh, GPS device with me, so I just punched in uh, the address of the hotel, activated it, and we just followed that route. It was really funny. The guy was driving, and me as a stranger, not knowing anything about here, Telling him what way to go was funny. Uh, it's the third time now I'm passing by this little market. It's really funny. You can buy uh, fresh produce here on the streets, and this place seems to be always and every day open. But my favorite place so far was, of course, the food tent at the Nam Diamond Market. train is coming. 
Okay, I finally reached the Imjingak. Uh, well, what is it? A village or something? Do you see that one? That's the observation platform I was talking about earlier. Uh, on a day like this, you should be able to see uh, the North Korean guys. So we're gonna get on that one. Okay, uh, where we are at? Okay, right there. That's a peace center, weapon exhibition. Okay, there's the third tunnel. Uh, this is the observatory platform. It's not actually that one, it's something else. Okay, Dora Sound Station is right there. Unification Bridge of Freedom. Tourist Information Center, that way. Okay, should be able to find our way. Well, I have bought my ticket for the demilitarized zone tour uh, here at the information station. My tour starts in one hour, so that gives me about enough time to explore everything around here at Imjingak. Um, I, I did register uh, with the passport, so you want to make sure if you come here to bring your passport in there because they need that. So after registration. Yeah, you just are free to go about wherever you want. Just make sure that you are at the tour when it departs. The tour bus departs right at this spot and it takes you out to the third infiltration tunnel. There you have the option to either descend with the elevator into the tunnel or walk. So if you choose the option to walk, it's going to be a little bit cheaper for you and the ticket. Um, other than that, if, you, if you're just a lazy ass, <laughs> you can always take the elevator. Okay, after visiting the third infiltration tunnel, they will take you out to, to Mount Dorasan uh, observation platform or whatever it is. Uh, from there, you can get a really good look um, of uh, the North Korean border and eventually you can see people there. Um, most of them soldiers, of course. And uh, then they take you to the Dorosan station. Um, the Dorosan station was built in hopes of uh, connecting a train line from South Korea to North Korea, but uh, I don't know, I think it's just history. Uh, yeah, well, and then the tour brings you back to this spot here in Imjingak. Yeah. Let's check it out. Well, it's written all in Korean. I can't read it. There is another observation platform we're gonna climb on. And uh, this is uh, the Bell of Freedom up there. And I'm now right standing in front of the peace bell. Um, you can actually go and ring this thing, okay? So there is a certain method that you have to do. Uh, it goes from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. And uh, you have to ring the bell seven times, either by a family or a group. And it costs around 10,000 won. I still want to do this. I need to find me six people to join me on this one.
Okay, let's let's check it out. The peace bell is 200. Uh, correction, two meters in diameter, four meters high, and weighs 21 tons. It's made of bronze and tin. Alright, and now Okay, well This is the Bell of the East And from there we have another important landmark It is the Bridge of Freedom Oh no, correction, it's called the Bridge of uh, Unification the train line Shit, this is actually the zone Okay So we are actually looking at North Korea right now on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. This should be the demil beginning of the demilitarized zone. You can see the barbed wires. So there are two fences, one in the front and there is another fence in the back. There is a guard tower. Ribbons. Okay, here's a little explanation of the barrier. Okay, these are check marks actually. Uh, see, number one, it's called Auditory Stone. Installed to drop a stone on the floor when a wire fence is cut on the top or a force is applied to it for somebody to go over it. If a patrolman finds a stone dropped during a patrol, he must search the part thoroughly. Okay, number two, the hearing stone. Where do we have that one? I think it's one on the bottom. Number two. Installed below the wire fence to make a sound when a stone is installed at the top and bottom of a wire fence and to drops on the floor. Stone color is mostly white and stones are installed to leave any trace of invaders such as footprints. I don't understand that. Number three, the petrol tag. One tag shall be installed at the top and two tags at the bottom so that watchmen can make a mandatory check 
of the top and bottom when it's their turn. Two tags are installed at the bottom because the pillars connecting a wire fence with another are good places to leave no trace of any cutting. Their parts are most difficult for a watchman to check, okay? Colors of a patrol tag are red on the front and white on the rear. If multiple tags are red and some parts are white, then it means that the place has not been checked, okay? There comes the patrol. Tough job. And here is another part of the wired fence. I gotta show you something interesting. See, as always, you have here messages written on those ribbons. Most of them are Korean. Probably everything is saying the same stuff. And everybody is talking about unification. Wishes and hopes, I suppose. However, check this one out. See these tags? I don't know, probably students? Because at the bottom it says Youth of Great Korea. And there are like several tags. They just left it here. I don't know why. It's like an ID card or something. I wonder what's the reason behind this. Maybe the young people hope that this unification will be achieved one day. And I find this particular banner here interesting. You can see the map of Korea. Okay, so the bottom part being the south and the top part being the north. And of course it's divided. It does look like blood, so you have those crying faces. I think it's painted with blood. Very nice. There's a train approaching. to the observation balcony half hour left until the tour starts there it is the bridge of unification I didn't expect this place to be so crowded but it's full and um, yeah, I think mainly it's Koreans here. Oh, 
That's supposed to, I think that's the infiltration tunnel here, right? This should be the infiltration tunnel, yes, number three. Okay, there's just one catch. If I go down there today, I, w I won't be taking you guys with me because cameras are not allowed. So this is pretty much experience it on your own stuff. Okay, let's get up there. I have to stand corrected after looking on this map the fences we see is actually not the demilitarized zone the demilitarized zone is much more inside so you can see it here uh, in Jinkak that's our present position and if you head out to Dorosan then we will be extremely close to the actual border Let's get up to the balcony, maybe we can catch a few there. Yep, up here. Let's get up here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is now facing east. See those mountains in the background? I think that is uh, the observatory where we are going to. I hope so. Wow, it's far. That should be the Mount Dora. And down there is a pagoda with a freedom bell. to ring that thing. And this direction is facing the north. The unification bridge right there. And see all those mountains in the way back. That should be northern Korean ter territory. <laughs> <laughs> 